Wouldn't mind giving you a little kiss on your lips, sir. Wow, look how handsome Kyle is. Ah! Good morning, everybody. We're back on the ranch. As you can see, little Pogman's getting used to running around with his little stupid little cone head. What's funny is he, he can't really fit in and fit out of all the little holes that he made and the little sneaky places, the way he gets in and out. So this is gonna be really nice and easy. Last night I let the little man sleep with me because he was kind of sad and lonely. And also I wanted him to be able to not wear that tonight. I'm gonna go ahead and put him back in here with Queen so they can play together. But if she starts licking his wounds, then I'm gonna separate him. Look how it took no time at all for this water to get nasty. This is literally just the next morning. They just love getting it real dirty. But again, guys, that's not fecal matter. That's just dirt here. What the ducks like to do is they like to scoop up the dirt and then sift through it to see if they can find anything. A little mud in the water never killed any of them. If you guys know any better systems for the ducks, please let me know. I know that Morgan Gold from Goldshaw Farms will fill up these smaller buckets, and that seems to work pretty well for him. Uh, we can definitely do that now that we have this water set up. Uh, I'm just looking to find the best, most affordable and effective option that's going to make the ducks the happiest. They still love to swim in this stuff, even though it doesn't look that great. But Poggers is also looking a bit thin. I don't think they were giving him the food that he likes, and he may not have been eating at all just because he missed me so i'm gonna go out to tractor supply today and get a lot of new food for all these little guys but things are finally starting to look better here guys at the urban rescue ranch things are finally starting to look kind of cute i'm gonna go ahead and try and fix the roof today i'm gonna go ahead and organize some of this stuff get that goose back on this side the baby just hopping around i'm gonna get some more food for him too even though i think we have two more buckets of good feed for the baby and karen and kevin but it looks like the baby's kind of nervous about poggers and recognize him or something Look at this little precious girl the goals today are to fix the roof with my broken hand get all the food for all these animals set up and then put in the containers where it's supposed to be get darth vader back on this side or get some water on this side for him or do both of those things i'd like to have some water here regardless just because uh, the animals keep getting over Darth Vader really does enjoy eating all this grass, but the call ducks have moved over to that side again. Things are just kind of scattered, so I'm gonna go get a watering system for right here. And I need to get an AC unit too, so we're going to Orschel. Okay, I'm gonna start investing in these smaller buckets for the ducks, just because these are a lot more affordable to fill up and dump every day. Just getting a bag of dog food in the trunk of a car is tough. Okay, so I just left to go get some coffee because I was getting tired and Poggers apparently lost his collar and his cone and ran out here and i only really have this one hand to lift things with well guys i figured it out uh, poggers has been getting out through this back area way over here in the corner what's funny is queen still doesn't know how to get through there apparently but i guess poggers loses his collar trying to get through there wow look how handsome kyle is look at his beautiful little face such a handsome young man if i do say so myself whoa was that the baby it's rapper an artist of the century a handsome man a beautiful man my son why are you so handsome, sir? Oh, you're going to give yourself a little scratch? You're going to give yourself a little scratch there, sir? Why are you so handsome and adorable and beautiful? Wouldn't mind giving you a little kiss on your lips, sir. Wouldn't mind giving you a little kiss on those beautiful little lips of yours. Let me give you a little kiss. Let me give that little those little lips of yours a kiss. Oh, you're getting up now. He's going to hop away. Oh, you're going to hop away. What do you guys want? I'm spending time with my son. Look at this. Look at this adorable little man. I don't even care about him getting me all dirty because he's so cute. I'll gladly break my hand again just for a chance to pet this adorable, beautiful little man. But okay, looks like this is how Poggers is getting out. Okay, not sure how he's doing it, but he's getting rid of his main collar somehow right here. And this is totally big enough for Queen to get out. I guess he goes through here and then he squeezes under this bottom boy. Poggers, come here! Why is Queen the obedient one today? Queen, you are just, you're, you know what? You're my favorite daughter now. But yeah, I need to find out some way to patch this up. I think I'm just going to use more of these guys. Excuse me. Excuse me, miss. Excuse me. Excuse me. Good thing is I have hundreds of these that I need to go ahead and set up somewhere. If you guys have any good ideas, uh, please let me know where we should put them. But this whole area here, I believe, is just going to be another metal kind of addition to this building. I'm going to try and get like a metal barn built here. At the very least, like a carport so that we can just start putting stuff in here and stables. I'm thinking a little metal building with the little garage. Okay, so I'm going to have to dig this little thing here in and then I'm probably going to have to bury it again once it's at the bottom there. Okay, so my morning chores now start with me turning on the water at this point. Okay, so I get the water turned on here. That way I can just walk out my door, turn the water on there. Now's the moment of truth when we find out whether or not there's a ton of leaks in the connections. Oh, there are! <laughs> Very good. 
good, very good. The ducks came to it immediately. Okay, so I can put maybe like a little bowl here. Uh, oh wow, it's on this spot. I'm not surprised by that. So this is the main issue, not this one. Let's see if I open this up if it's any better. Okay, doesn't seem like it. What if I open up all of these? Oh, there we go, okay. Very good. Oh, very nice. Isn't this cool, guys? Wow. Okay, now we're gonna try this out. Just temporarily, we're gonna see how this goose does being over here with just a little bit of water, a little bit of food. And then we're gonna see if the other geese come and join them. Either way, I'm gonna put them back with his friends in a little bit. Okay, while this little feller's filling up, I'm gonna go grab some food. I could also make a little garden here. I could also just accept this. No, I'm just gonna get rid of this thing and screw that straight into this golden one because it leaks a lot less. Maybe plant some pumpkins right there. Huh? That's my answer to everything. If we don't know what to put there, just put pumpkins. Tito said he's got a buddy coming over that should be able to help us finish the roof. So that should be really, really nice. If we can get this to where we can legally run electric to it and safely, that would be amazing. I think that's finally gonna happen. Okay, now we have a nice little food station right here. That's perfect. Now that goose has enough water to drink and completely submerge his beak in, but not enough to swim around and be a little dingus. And all of this stuff is food for him, especially the grass. Hey, there we go. Problem solved. Whenever one of these is clean, it's the, they're dirty right now. They need to get washed off. When one of these is cleaned, I can just switch it out with Vinny's water. We also got this adorable little mama duck just sitting here on these eggs. Having a little extra close by water source for her is gonna be perfect. I'm gonna wash this one out. So we'll also provide really good water for Poppy uh, and for Vinny, whenever Vinny digs out of here inevitably. You really can't keep rabbits in a thing like this unless you cover the bottom with mesh. But as long as there's plenty of uh, grass in here and other forage for Vinny, then he won't wanna leave. So this way, if any of the ducks or anything gets over on this side by accident, they at least have some water. Same thing with Poppy, same thing with Vinny, whatever else we have over on this side. And now because of this little setup that I have for the goose, we have the same thing here. We even have our own little feed bucket for this little thing of feed here. Just in case they get over here and they can't find their way back, they have a little extra food here. And you know what? I think I'm actually gonna go ahead and turn this whole thing into like a little carport covered in area. And as soon as we finish the fencing on that side, then this whole little area is going to be a perfect little uh, enclosure for some kind of animal. And to be honest, guys, I know I've said a lot about this in the past, but I, I don't mind my rabbits free ranging as long as it's in a safe place. Hey, hey, calm down over there. Calm down. There's plenty of healthy food out here for a rabbit. If Vinny ends up hopping around out here, or any of the other rabbit rescues that we end up getting end up popping around here, that's fine. But we just want to make sure that they're not going to get just demolished by an owl or some kind of hawk. I'm just going to go, oh! Our good friend Matt is here dropping off the pipe for finishing the rest of this project. These poles we put in were two weeks, so we're going to have to put in the three-inch pipe in between each of the poles, and we're just going to jackhammer them down in. Oh, yeah, baby! Woo! Oh, here they come. Oh, there's the first one. Ah! Here's the panel that I'm gonna go ahead and use to fix that back area that Poggers keeps getting out of. Ah! Some thick, good, sturdy stuff. And this will definitely keep any ostrich or any other nasty boys from getting out. That's it though, guys. That's all the pipe we need. As you can see, this gate is starting to sag in, but I finally fixed it. Not really at all. Come Monday, we're gonna have all those poles in the ground and then our fencing is gonna be up. Love you guys, appreciate you. Thanks so much for watching my video. Oh, I almost forgot to- ah!